Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and a very warm welcome to you all to Bringarrow House, a lovely venue for the marriage of Ross and Kerry. My name is Jodie Absalom, and my colleague is Linda Mumford. It's our pleasure to be here as part of your special day. As a guest, please be seated. today to celebrate with Ross and Kerry, to share their joy as they begin their new life together as husband and wife. They will soon be making their marriage vows, be promising their love and devotion to each other. But marriage is not just about love, it's about companionship, friendship, trust and mutual respect. It's about sharing life together and supporting each other through both good times and bad. So Ross and Kerry, as you make your vows today, please think very carefully about the words you are saying. The promises you're making today and tend to be for the rest of your lives. This place in which we've gathered today has been duly sanctioned according to law for the celebration of marriage. You are here to witness the wedding of Ross England and Kerry Jones. If any person here present knows of any lawful impediment to this marriage, they should declare it now. Who brings Kerry to be joined in matrimony to us? Thank you, Dad. We don't forget. <coughs> Ross and Kerry, before you were joined in matrimony, I must remind you of the solemn and binding character of the vows you are about to make. Marriage in this country is the union of two people voluntarily entered into for life, to the exclusion of all others. I shall now ask if you freely undertake the obligations of marriage and to state that there is no legal reason why you should not be joined together in matrimony. So, Ross, do you willingly commit yourself in marriage to Kerry? I do. And Kerry, do you willingly commit yourself in marriage to Ross? I do. Ross, can you repeat after me, please? I do solemnly declare... I do solemnly declare... That I know not... That I know not of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful lawful impediment. Why I Ross England. Why I Ross England. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Kerry Jones. To Kerry Jones. Kerry, you can repeat that for me. I do solemnly <coughs> declare. I do solemnly declare that I know not. That I know not of any lawful impediment. Of any lawful impediment. Why I Kerry Jones. Why I Kerry Jones. May not be joined in matrimony. May not be joined in matrimony. To Ross England. To Ross England. To make a marriage work takes more than love. It takes trust to know in your heart that you only want the best for each other. To be honest with one another even when it's difficult to do so. To go forward together, not knowing what the future holds. Therefore I ask you, in the presence of your family and friends, your witnesses here to celebrate with you today. Ross, do you take Kerry here present to be your lawful wedded wife? Will you cherish her, love and respect her and stay faithful to her for the rest of your life? I will. Can you repeat after me again? I call upon... I call upon... These persons here present... These persons here present... To witness that I, Ross England... To witness that I, Ross England... Do take thee, Kerry Jones... Do take thee, Kerry Jones... To be my lawful wedded wife... To be my lawful wedded wife... Kerry, do you take Ross here present to be your lawful wedded husband? Will you cherish him, love and respect him and stay faithful to him for the rest of your life? I will. Can you repeat that? I call upon... I call upon... These persons here present... These persons here present... To witness that I, Kerry Jones... To witness that I, Kerry Jones... To take thee, Ross England... To take thee, Ross England... To be my lawful wedded husband... To be my lawful wedded husband... The ancient traditional way of seeing the marriage back vows by the exchange of wedding rings. They mark the beginning of the journey you will take together <coughs> for wonder, surprise, laughter, celebration and joy. So I'm now going to ask to symbolise the vows you've just made by the giving and receiving of rings. If you can pop them on the buttons for me, please. Just pop them on the buttons. Alright, on the buttons. buttons. Oh. 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 Ross, if you could repeat that to me first. Kerry, I promise to love and honour you. Kerry, I promise to love and honour you. To care for you and comfort you. To care for you and comfort you. To share my whole life with you. To share my whole life with you. And to stay faithful to you always. And to stay faithful to you always. I'll take Kerry's ring. Place 
this on the third one with her left hand. Hold it in place and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring. As a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And as a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. I have no greater gift to give. I have no greater gift to give. May it always remind you. May it always remind you. Of the promises we have made. Of the promises we have made. On this our wedding day. On this our wedding day. I remain holding hands now and carry your turn if you can repeat after me. Ross, I promise to love and honour you. Ross, I promise to love and honour you. To care for you and comfort you. To care for you and comfort you. To share my whole life with you. To share my whole life with you. And to stay faithful to you always. And to stay faithful to you always. Ross, Please on the third finger his left hand. Hold it in place and repeat after me. I give you this ring. I give you this ring as a sign of my love. As a sign of my love. And a symbol of our marriage. And a symbol of our marriage. I have no greater gift to give. And I have no greater gift to give. May it always remind you. May it always remind you of the promises we have made. And the promises we have made on this our wedding. Day. On this our wedding day. <laughs> May these rings reflect the warmth of the lives that flow through them today. Two lives are now joined with one and broken circle. Ross and Kerry, you have come here today to make a public declaration of your love for each other. You have made promises which bind you both together in a permanent and loving relationship. At the same time, you have made the declarations required by law and have made a legally binding commitment to each other in the presence of your family and friends here assembled. I therefore have great pleasure in pronouncing you husband and wife. You may kiss your bride.